briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. A 1979 legal battle, Forrest v. Ellum, was centered around the concept of a life estate. When a person is allowed usage of a property during their lifetime, but without actual ownership or the ability to sell it. The dispute arose after Alice E. Forrest passed away, leaving her property to her six children, including Fern, who had a life estate in the home. Fern pursued selling the property and dividing the profits, but also insisted his life estate value be considered separately in the division. In 1975, Fern filed a partition action against his siblings to initiate the sale, and they agreed to divide the proceeds equally four ways. However, Fern's insistence on being compensated separately for his life estate led to complications. The court ruled that Fern had abandoned his life estate by filing the partition action and accepting a remainder man's share of $12,605.32. As a result, he was not entitled to compensation specifically for his life estate value. Instead, the net proceeds from the property sale were divided equally among Fern and his siblings, with each receiving $11,699. 27 cents after deductions for attorney fees and cost liens. Ultimately, the court maintained that Fern was not entitled to the separate value of his life estate interest in the property sale proceeds. His expert witness fee was denied and his attorney fees were awarded based only on hours spent and the attorney's hourly rate. Fern's compensation was limited to the time he was removed from the property during its sale. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for Visit lse.law Elevate your mind Leave the stress of class